Our next third degree black belt form is called Yu Shin Yang. Yu Shin, up until this point, will be the longest form that you've learned. 68 movements in Yu Shin. Also has a very unique um, ready position. The left hand's a fist covered with the right palm. It's said that this is, represents a general looking over his troops in a very majestic way. Technique number one, hands are going to come up and Master Turquoise comes to a horse stance with the elbows out and this is simulating somebody grabbing you from behind and breaking a bear hug from behind. Next he shifts and executes a rear punch to the head and shifts again, rear punch once again. From this position he's going to come up and execute a hooking block. We've seen this block in, in Guangye Kong. So we're hooking down and then punch, sitting down on the punch. Then up again, notice up and then down. So notice the upward and the downward motion. Next, you move to the outside and outside forearm block. Now, the outside forearm block is done in this direction, but next he's going to do a circular block and it's going to go in this direction. Notice the stance really didn't change, but the, the uh, point of focus does. Next, he transitions to a horse stance and does a scooping block, again to the center line at 45 degrees, and then next, executing his punch. Next movement, left foot goes to right, outside block with the right, and now we'll do our circular block here, switch to a horse stance, scoop, and punch. Next, we're going to have a transition of stances. We're going to be going from a front stance to a horse stance, to a uh, front stance to a horse stance. So he turns and executes an outside knife hand block in a front stance in direction to the left and then goes to sitting stance or horse stance with a middle punch and then turns, does the same thing here and then punch. Next, stepping back with the right foot, executing an X block low. Rechamber the hands and an X block high. Now, watch the hand motion. He's going to do this slowly. What he's doing is he's representing coming underneath and releasing from a wrist grab or actually manipulating the hand so that you're grabbing it in such a way you control your opponent. So he's going to twist here and now re-pull right hand back here and punch. And when the punch is made, the fingertips are on the right elbow. He does a right leg front kick, stepping forward, and now a left punch. And now repeat. So X block low, X block high with a knife hand, twist, Bring the left hand back, left kick, right punch, down. Next, step forward, knife hand guarding block one, knife hand guarding two. Stepping backward, doing the same motion, and back again. Next, step forward with a reinforced block, and then a low block down. Again, a reinforced block, and low block down. Stepping forward with the right foot, front punch, key up. Now we're going to punch with the right hand. There we go. We almost had it perfect. Okay, excellent. Now what's going to happen is he takes the right foot to the center line and does an outside ridge hand block with the left hand. So the block is done like so. Next, go. He's going to step forward, come into ready position C. Moving out to the right with a stamping motion, double up the punch. Right foot comes to the left, repeat. Next, left foot comes to right, execute an outside forearm block, then a right rever left reverse punch, and then step back up into a position in the side punch. Then repeat, so outside block, punch, and then pull up, and good. Next, he looks in this direction, and is going to execute a new technique for you, it's called a U-shaped punch. And what we're doing here is we're punching to the face, and to the lower abdomen at the same time. So he punches one, then switches position, punches in the other direction. Next, he's going to step with the right and step down in a block. Now, this block is done like so. It's an inside block across the body, much like you've seen in Chung Mu. And now what will happen next is, he's for the next motion, he's going to do a waving kick here and block to the outside keeping the hands positioned, then a waving kick here and block to the other side. So he goes one, block outside, up, block the other side, and then turn, and this strike here is done with the back of the palm, right like so. So it's a knife hand striking with the back of the palm. So open up the hand, sir. And next he's going to do a target kick with the left leg, 
into a side kick without putting the foot down. Repeat, down here, kick, kick. And next, he steps down to this motion in a nine-shape block. Remember this uh, technique from Gebekjan. Nine-shape block, you're catching underneath the leg, coming down, breaking the, breaking the knee. He repeats. Then he steps with the left foot, does it again. We got one and two. Next, he pulls the left foot and comes down with a hammer fist. Feet are shoulder width apart. Step back with the right foot, execute a twin fist. Step through now and execute another twin fist. Now, the next, the right foot comes up to meet the left. And step out at 45 degrees in the knife hand guarding block. And now, switch left to right. Knife hand guarding block at 45 degrees. Key up. Withdraw the foot. And come back to our Yushin ready position.